Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to cover Speaker Coach in Microsoft Teams. During your PowerPoint Live presentation, Speaker Coach provides nice tips how to improve your speech. Before to start, let me thank you Appstresis5 for supporting this video and my channel. Appstresis5 is a company that provides Microsoft 365 solution and I'll show you a very nice application that you can use in SharePoint. It's a web part called Power Pop-Up. Okay, let's get started. And here I am in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Hello everyone, let's start to share a presentation that I have and let me show you how you can work with Speaker Coach. To share my presentation, I'm going to click on the classic button, share, and then I'm going to use PowerPoint Live. I have this presentation taking Microsoft Teams to the next level. Let me click on it. And here we go, now my presentation is live. I can start. To enable Speaker Coach, you have two options. Below here, there is this icon, turn on Speaker Coach. Otherwise, you can go on the More button and here you can find Turn on Speaker Coach. It's up to you how you prefer to enable and turn on Speaker Coach. I'm going to click on this icon and now the Speaker Coach should turn on. So I have this nice pop-up that tell me that now Speaker Coach is turned on. I can start to speak and Speaker Coach will record every kind of information related to my way to present this slide deck and how I can improve the speech. Now, I can go forward with my slide. I don't want to miss a lot of time here. I'm going immediately to stop this presentation and this meeting so I can show you a summary of the speaker coach. Basically, when you present speaker coach, give you advice in real time, you can see here pop up coming on top and telling you if you have to keep your eyes on the camera or you are using, uh, for example, too much filler words or you have to speed up or you have to slow down. So you will get in real time several advices, which is very, very cool to bring forward your way to present. Now, let me turn off the meeting. Let me stop the meeting and let me show you now how I can see the recap of Speaker Coach. And now directly, directly in Teams, I should, I should see coming here we go, Speaker Coach Report available. Now if I click on this uh, icon, little panel, I can see now a report. So I recorded just 1 minute and 14 seconds and I can see that Speaker Coach provides suggestions related to filler words, pace, inclusiveness, intonation, monologue, repetitive language. For example, I have here this first advice related to filler words. I use it too much time, basically. This is pretty cool. So you will have this timeline during your presentation and you can see this uh, little uh, point red that tell you exactly the point where you have to work to improve the presentation. This is very, very cool. Let me show you some example right now. This is an example of real-time notification coming from Speaker Coach. In this case, watch your pace, slow down a bit. So this is an example how you will get notified from Speaker Coach. It's time to talk a little bit more about Power Pop-Ups. This is the website where you can get started with this SharePoint application. You will find the link in the description of this video. On this page, you can start to play with this app clicking on the link download from App Source. This is the App Store where you can play with this app. Clicking on Get It Now, you have to provide some information to install this app on your tenant. Once you have done that, you can start to play this with this application. I am now on my demo tenant. This is my top site collection, my home site in SharePoint. You can install Power Pop-Ups tenant-wide for every site in your SharePoint environment or you can target specific site collection. If you are following this second option to play with this app, of course you have before to install it, click on the new button and then up and then here you will find Power Pop-Ups. 
When this app is installed on the site collection, then you can start to play it. Now let me show you this demo. I have this simple SharePoint page. And here I have three web parts, three power pop-ups. Here I have just a text, click on the button to get more info about it. If I click on this button, I have this nice pop-up that shows up. Here I have another example. Just below I have this image. I want to get more information about Viva Engage, for example. If I click on this image, which is clickable, I will see this pop-up that give me more input about Viva Engage. Now closing this pop-up, I can go down and I have a third version of this app. And here, differently of before, I have a link. So if I click on this link, open pop-up, I have a different animation. And here I can embed SharePoint pages. This is the home page of my SharePoint site. So I can scroll and see the, the dashboard, Viva Connections and all page available in this site. Pretty cool. Now let me show you how it works. Going on the edit mode of this page, you can see that I have three versions installed of Power Pop-Ups. If I click now on the first one and here on the pen, the panel on the right shows up and here I have many options. So it's very flexible this app. I can decide to um, have a button that triggers this pop-up, a link or an image as we have seen before. Then I have the content configuration. Here I have pixels. I can define how big should be this, this pop-up. I can define width and height. And then again below I have the pop-up source. I can embed SharePoint pages, the page URL case for example, or I can have an HTML editor or a rich text editor. The rich text editor give me the chance to format the text like the text web part in SharePoint. Then going a little bit down, we can see that there is the overlay configuration. Here I can even define the animation and there are a lot bounce, slide right, rotating, swing, tada, bounce and so on. Then pop-up configuration, again, auto-close pop-up, redirect visitor, on-close, you can define the position of this pop-up, the animation of the pop-up, enable pop-up, close button, true or false, many, many options. And, and then just uh, the last one is inner content configuration. Should content be animated? Yes or no. And here you can define other animation. All right, we have seen Speaker Coach in Microsoft Teams PowerPoint Live. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.